Brooklyn Independent Television. It's a coffee shop, wine bar, and some think of it as an ultra cool library where you can borrow a book while feasting on fresh Italian sandwiches and baked goods. It's many things to many people. It's milk and roses. My name is Tommaso Mazzone, owner of Milk and Roses. So we did call it Milk and Roses because uh, we could not find <laughs> an agreement with other names. So milk gives an idea about us serving coffees and roses because we have a rose garden in the back. But, uh, a typical day starts at 7 a.m. Uh, we basically serve coffee, cappuccino, pastries and uh, we slowly go to the night uh, operations where we do have wine and beer and uh, uh, basically always in an informal setting we, we try to keep uh, a low-key environment uh, for people. The idea was uh, to have a comfortable place for people uh, and to let them try Italian and gourmet food and, and items. In, in relax, basically, without a fancy setup. We do offer on, on our menu gourmet cheeses, basically imported from Italy, and um, also meats, any kind of meat that can be imported, we have it, and um, if not, it's made in this country with Italian specifications. So we tend to have uh, a younger um, crowd, usually, uh, very prepared, uh, so very, uh, uh, how do you say, demanding about uh, coffee needs. Uh, wines are touchless, I would say. They are more willing to experience. Uh, coffee, they already know exactly what, <laughs> what they want and how they want it to be. So proposing the Italian-style coffee, it's uh, like a novelty. My name is Oliver Melendez and I am a barista at Milk and Roses. Our most popular items would be the croissants and our coffees in the morning. The best part of my day would be interacting with people every time my customer comes in. We, sit, we end up talking for at least two, three minutes meanwhile make their coffee. My name is Peter Lucursi and I'm here to do some work and enjoy some coffee at uh, Milk and Roses. It's the only place where you can get sort of genuine Italian fare uh, and it's, you know, sort of from morning to night you have uh, breakfast, you have lunch and dinner and then at night, you know, after drinking coffee all day you can have a nice glass of wine. The atmosphere I think is perfect because whether you want to sort of relax or, or sort of bunker down and do some work, there's a the opportunity to do either of those things. I mean, it's it's nicely lit, the music's not too loud, but it's always nice, and uh, you know, it's just very relaxing atmosphere here. The idea behind the decor was uh, to get rid of uh, the non-necessary items, parts, and keeping everything structural in place and uh, anything else away. The piano, yes, that was an old uh, idea, like uh, I would have always liked uh, piano and books to be combined with the coffee and wines, and so when the, the occasion arose, we decided to put it all together. The books are uh, intended to be read by customers. Basically, I like the simplicity because um, we just kept everything um, that was already here original. There is no additions, uh, like uh, for instance, the counter is completely reclaimed from, from the wall, and so are many other um, parts of the decor of this place. My favorite thing uh, of, about Green Point is that. Uh, I am close enough to the needs I may have in Manhattan, but far enough 
that uh, I don't get this crowd. Originally I'm from Potenza, Basilicata, uh, a region of southern Italy. And I came here about three years ago. This very neighborhood is actually the first thing, the first neighborhood I've seen when I came in this country for vacations, which was about seven years ago. I, I jumped off the taxi in this area, so must be a destiny, I don't know. <laughs> the future plans for this place are just to make it complete, which is still not. Uh, we need to tweak a few things. And um, no, just uh, keep it more and more relaxing to, to customers. You're watching the Big Cat TV Network.